Uh, next one we have in here, Yorkshire Guild, 14-5. Uh, she actually has uh, no notches on her uh, litter mark ear there, uh, I guess her right ear. And, um, you know, another one in, in terms of length of body and then tying back, being an out cold, uh, back to a, a Thompson sale. I know uh, Eli and Evan there uh, a couple years ago went over to uh, Thompson's there and, and bought a couple Yorkshire Gilts and, you know, uh, to, to kind of revamp these things and, and kind of get back to using them more, uh, not only as a Yorkshire program, but try to get back uh, to, to just making uh, crossbred females as well. This is a 14.5 side note. She is not notched yet uh, on her right ear. Another neat belt one, a shot more moderate than the Littermate Bear, but still a good sized hog, a very three dimensional kind of hog. I like that one, Skull, for a, a breeding gilt. Uh, uh, I like her angles of her skeleton, the flex she's got. Uh, looks athletic, her levelness of hip and a uh, big old tail root coming out of that, that rump and, and, and able to flex the hind leg really good. Uh, adequate kind of uh, uh, feminine kind of, of, of bone work uh, working in her. Looks like she's going to be a sow in the end too and still have the properties to be a show guilt when you take her in. The right length of body, good skull, levelness of top, levelness of hip, reach and go, flex off both ends. Very good. Uh, good quality under on all the, all the things you need to make a good Yorkshire female for the ring or the sow herd both. That one is 14-5, lot number 88.